Hey everybody, um, thought I'd do a quick teaser on a new feature that I'm going to release, um, hopefully in the next release. It's called WAV Studio, um, and the thoughts around WAV Studio is, just if you have a collection of, of loops that you've built up for your songs, but you want to chain them together into a single WAV file um, without having to go to a, a DAW um, then you can now do it within the editor so here's WAV Studio version 1.0 whatever um, so I've connected to uh, my offline backup these are all my tunes here all my, all my songs in there um, so this is my list of WAVs. This top bit here is my WAV palette. So WAVs I'm working with will go into the palette. And these kind of purple blocks here are the kind of beats that I've got for my chosen um, number of bars um, and number of beats. You know, so if I was to change the... Uh, the bar count to 12 then obviously got a lot more thing in there and I can say take off show beats so here's here's 12 bars change it to 8 bars whatever. right <clears throat> so if I go and add some of my WAV files from my um, from my folders um, so I can press here and load in every WAV file which is in this song or I can click on individual WAV files to add them so I can do that you know, add that one and add that one or I could just pick up the whole thing and just drag it in there and drop it in. Um, so these are the ones that are in my palette and when they're in my palette I can add them into here so I could say for this I want to start with this WAV and I want it to play for a bar then I want that WAV and it will continue playing until I get to the last bar where I just want that. And then I can generate that. Don't and that's it created it in here. There's the wav. Yep, so there's that whole wav all created and it's twelve bars long, which is quite cool. Um let's see, what else can I do? What else can I do? Ooh. So let's see this WAV here. We can see the volume here set to 100, which is the same as the, the RC600 or the 505. It goes between 0 and 200. So I could, if I wanted to, take that down to 0. Stick that in there. So that's has got a bar of silence because that WAV's got no volume anymore. And then I could pick up the same WAV again there so I'm going to have one bar of that one bar of silence then this one continuing until I hit that one so let's prove that worked there you go and there's our bar of silence right in there fantastico right so where would you use this let's say you'd load a little drum loops and you're trying to build up a track with all your drum loops. If I go back into I'll go clear all show beats. So these are all the beats that are in here. You can imagine that if I had you know, imagine these were my drum loops, then I could just pick this up and go, I want, you know, I want that one in there. Then I want that one. Kind of going in there. Then I want that one. Go in there. And then I want it to run until I get to here when there's a fill and then here when there's a big flam flam and then I go back to my normal one until I get to the end and I finish with you know some big oh where's my mouse gone? I lost my mouse there it was yeah then you just end with a big finish there so this is my big finish yeah. then you go off you just press run that would generate the WAV. So 
you know, there's all the bits that are in the WAV. You know, you could then take that WAV and then import it into whatever location you want. Um, so things to kind of notice in here, I can actually play the WAV. So if I click on a WAV and go play, it's going to play. Um, I can also remove WAVs from in here. So I'll press that, the WAV goes away just from the palette. Um, you're going to be able to import uh, WAVs from your file system as well and bring them into the palette to allow you to use them in there. Um, you can see in here, this is telling you how many bars and measures this thing takes up. So this is taking up four measures, this is taking up, so this is four bars, this is taking up 12 bars. This is taking up 13 bars in one measure because I know that this WAV is from a different um, different song and I just imported it in here while I was doing some testing. Uh, so if I was to change the tempo in here and say it's 120 BPM, that, then it will go off and it will say that's now 4 bars and 1 measure and this is 12 bars and 3 measures and that's 14 bars and so you can see how that's kind of working. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, down here you can browse to where you want the, um, the WAV Studio WAVs to be created. And this is the name of the, the actual WAV that gets created. And you can check this to see whether you want it to the, open the folder when you create the WAV. Um, yeah, so that's WAV Studio. Coming soon to an RC editor near you. Cheers everybody. Bye, boy.